Paula. My name is Julie Billhart, and today we are so excited because our son, Andy, who is in the Air Force, just got back to the States. So we are going to make his favorite dessert, which happens to be pineapple upside down cake. So in my bowl here I have a half a cup of butter and a half a cup of cream cheese. And I put it in the microwave so it's kind of soft so I can beat it up really good. So I'm going to turn this on. cream cheese in my cake. It makes it really, really good. So I've got a butter cake mix, three eggs, and then um, it takes about a cup and a third of liquid. So um, don't throw out your pineapple juice. I just pour it in here and then I make up the difference in the, in the water. So we've got about a cup and a third of liquid. Mix this up real quick. Everybody in our family loves to cook, and um, even our son, uh, Andy, who just got back, was telling us how he's already got a brisket marinating. He loves to smoke um, the, uh, he got a smoker right before he left. So he's been smoking some fish and brisket and upside down cake and um, my video gal is not here today my daughter couldn't be here so but I wanted you to see it's kind of it's definitely a caramel so you have half a cup of butter in here you have about a cup of brown sugar and just kind of let it bubble up it gets nice and and gooey caramely and then I'm gonna put in I like to use the pineapple rounds because I think it looks prettier we're gonna lay these in the sauce and I also like to bake mine in my cast iron skillet. I think it tastes better and um, it allows you to do the caramel mixture in there and bake it all in the very same pan. Okay, so I got my pineapple in there and of course West Pineapple Upside Down Cake without a cherry is not good. So I have lots of cherries here. And everybody in our family loves cherries so we have to have a, a few extra here. Okay, I'll put the rest of that juice in the cake. Oops. So it's really simple. You don't have to frost it. The frosting and everything is, is already here. So I'm going to pour this cake mix right on top. And you don't even really need to butter the sides because the butter that's already cooking in there just kind of goes up the sides and it comes out real easy. Now this is Andy's favorite cake. Alrighty, so I'm going to put this in the oven and it bakes for about 25 minutes or so. Just kind of, um, just watch it like and stem like any other cake when it springs back up. So we'll see you in a few minutes. Okay, so our um, cake is done. I want you to see how beautiful it is. It's a beautiful cake. So um, I'm going to have to sneak a little taste before he gets here. So... I'm sure he won't mind. I'm doing just to make sure it's good. Mm. A little pineapple on there. Mm. That is so delicious. The topping is delicious caramely. A little bit of pineapple. Mm. I'm sure he's going to be so excited when he gets here. See you later.